Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Wicked Whiskers. I sincerely hope that you're doing better than me. As you can see, I have some eye infection, so I was not that much in the mood for the shave, so this time it will be simple and short. Razorox synthetic brush and state traditional shaving soap. Just so that I can clean up my razor from this week. Now this is fairly easy to load, so again one easier part of equation. I'm also trying out a new video app for filming. I hope it will be a little bit better. So We'll see how the things will develop. Okay. Lots of residues, but it's not a big deal. I'll just make some leather, not too thick. Now my entire family is suffering from these eye things. My daughter probably got something in the kindergarten, so we are now just completing the circle with child diseases. So that's how things are going in life. I had completely different topics for the videos I wanted to make one more let's say historical approach for Brion shaving cream I also have planned to make a comparison between old and new Arco shaving soaps so, if these topics are in any of your interests and you find it appealing, stay tuned. You don't need to subscribe unless you want to, but just drop a by occasionally. Just type Wicked Whiskers, browse the channel, check out the playlists. So. But as it seems, today I'm a little bit limited with my eyesight. On my right hand it's all sort of blurry and not really helpful for anything. And after a while it gets a little tiring and like my right eye starts to dripping and this will be just enough today i will perform a single pass shave with mule roca and persona platinums this would be the last usage of the blade and just because the state traditional is so smooth I will complete the my normal second pass cleanup right away so if you're a tennis uh, fanboy it will be like forehand and backhand on the same run, so... I'm really not that energetic right now 
to chase BBS or to repeat strokes so I just want to avoid my face itchiness from the growing beard so and I think I never made this exclusively one pass shaves so I somehow always change my mind and go for the cleanup pass but this time I really don't feel about that <laughs> Now, like always with the Roca, I'm just holding my skin so it's not pulled back with the razor, so it's not stretching. Just nice and slow. And a little bit of weepers this time, so I probably guess it's time to change the blade. One of the reasons to stay on one pass only. Because with a bad blade, how many passes you try to achieve, the shave is not going to be any better, so... And I don't feel like changing the blade right now, in the middle of the job. And it's not that bad after all, so as you can see, it's just super surface like scratchings, so it's not a deep cut. It's actually not a cut at all. And as it seems, pretty nice, pretty decent. Another tiny weeper in here, so I'm going to wash my face and see the results. Okay, I'm back. Survived the washing, so strangely, it seems that all these ones are disappearing, so Probably some skin cracking, you know. I didn't wet my face prior to shave. So, I guess that it's just a blade, which obviously didn't have to be used this time. A little bit of... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yeah. And definitely uh, way too much of aftershave feel and it is exactly that uh, type of feel which I am always uh, 
pointing your attention to it because it's not like that I do have some specific, you know, some trouble areas or something like that. It's like my palms are 100 degrees and I feel it everywhere. So, yeah, definitely bad blade. So, don't be a cheapskate. Switch it after three shaves and hopefully see you on Monday. Until then, have a nice weekend, better than mine, and stay well. Thanks.